tell us a little bit more about what, what you do and the services that you offer. Certainly, um, yeah, we, we provide everything from the initial design of a biomass heating project through to supplying and installing the equipment and then providing heat, so whether that's wood chip or wood pellet fuel based heat on an ongoing basis thereafter. So effectively we, we try and provide every, every service from design all the way through to ongoing operation. One of the key market sectors was what we call the rural property sector, so large country state owners who maybe have a big drafty uh, old house um, and a couple of cottages and they, were, they tend to be off the gas grid, so heated by oil, uh, a large heating bill but they've also got their own wood fuel. So that was a very important sector in the, in the early days and is, is, still, is, is still important today. But over the past few years we've seen the public sector in particular um, become a, a much more important client. So we've, we do a lot of projects in schools, in um, uh, care homes, NHS type facilities. So that, that's an important part of the market as well. And then I would say within the last 12 to 18 months we've seen a lot more interest in the private sector. So particularly big heat users, so people are using heat as either part of a process um, to, to dry something or in the food, food sector or hotel or care home owners um, is, is become an important market. We, we don't really do so much in the domestic sector. What would be your, your approach to working, say, with a, a local authority, for example, who's interested in going down a biomass heating route but maybe is unsure about how effective it might be as a technology? What the yeah, I think I think again the, the, the approach of, within the public sector has changed quite a bit over the past couple of years. So in the early days people would just go and procure a boiler um, and then they would do the ongoing operation and source the, the fuel from an, a, a different party. So quite a lot of people involved and um, quite a lot of uh, issues in terms of not, no clear single point of accountability. So what we're seeing now is a move towards public sector buying heat. So, so a company like us will effectively put in a project, so we'll work with them on the design of it, install the system, um, either the, the local authority or the uh, university will pay for that kit or else it will be financed by us under an energy service contract and then we'll sell them heat. So we'll, we'll take care of all the ongoing operation and management of the system. So the fuel supply, the routine servicing and de-ashing and the ongoing maintenance and support. Um, one of the important things that people need to understand about biomass is it's not like a gas or an oil boiler. You need to be a lot, there's a lot more ongoing involvement with it, um, which, which people need to be aware of when they're thinking about how they're going to uh, run a system into the future. Their driver for having done a biomass project is that it's going to save carbon, so, and, and hopefully it's going to save cost as well, but it will only save carbon and save cost if the thing's actually working and producing heat. So that's the, that's the key aspect of it, and that's what a heat supply contract can begin to guarantee. And I think given the, given the pressures the public sector finances are under, we're seeing a lot more interest in these energy service contracts where we would provide the financing to put the kit in um, and, and it gives them a, a no capital outlay option. Um, that's probably going to be an increasingly important area as uh, time goes on. And with the renewable heat incentive, that's really stacking up. Stacking up has been a practical and viable option. It's purely about supporting the, the public and commercial sector um, or projects where a boiler is put in and it serves more than one building are currently eligible. So even if it's just serving two houses, that project's eligible under the RHI. And this is, this is the government's um, ongoing incentive that will basically is designed to transform the way in which the country's heated. So we've got targets, targets that the government must meet in terms of generating heat from renewable sources by 2020. And this renewable heat incentive, or RHI, as it's commonly known, is the main means for, for allowing that to happen. Um, so it's, it's going to give people um, an ongoing annual payment for a period of 20 years that will be paid on a quarterly basis. So although the, um, it's, it's changed a bit from providing upfront capital to an ongoing revenue payment, the overall level of support and incentive payment that people will get should be more than enough to pay for the capital cost of the installation. So really it's uh, very exciting times.